hear ye. It is time for a state of the scene address. Bring it in. All right, all right, let's do it. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for kicking back with me here today. And just like I just said with the megaphone, it's time to talk about the scene. It's time to do a whole state of the scene address, and there's nobody better to do it than me. We got to talk about some drama. We got to talk about some emos. We got to talk about some shows, some fests, and some records. There's a lot of stuff going down. Is it bad? Is it good? Is it healthy? Is it poor? What are we talking about? How is the scene doing? So we're just basically two months into this year so far and already there has been some great drama on the internet. Do you remember the Valley Girl situation? The singer, the guy from The Neighborhood, very famous pop star guy, he was like, I'm gonna start a hardcore band. Then I made a video about it and the whole internet exploded about it. I got into some drama about that situation. So right away I was like, oh man, we are in for a hell of a year. And then we got the pig head situation that kind of flew under the radar. There was this kind of like really small death metal band playing this local show and somebody brought a pig head, a real life pig head to the show and it caused a lot of drama on the internet as well. So many quote retweets, so many angry people, many articles written about it, Fantano made a video about it. This thing was a whole thing. So we got some beefy drama already and we're only two months in and that's not even talking about the biggest drama that happened which I covered yesterday on the channel which involved Escuela Grind. Well, they responded. Well, not really responded. They kind of did an anti-response. They posted to their Instagram and they said, this is the best run that they've ever had. Yeah, okay. Huge cope. And uh, that's on a post that they turned off comments. You can't say what's in your heart and on the tip of your fingers to a squill of grind. They don't want you to have a voice. They turned off their comments because they can't stand the heat. If you're not familiar with this situation, I highly suggest you go back to yesterday's video and catch up with that. Because this thing is very funny, very silly drama. And if the year is filled with more drama like these three things that I just mentioned, my God, I am going to be a pig in crap. I'm going to be loving it. So not only is the internet drama great, we're getting some good memes as well. Memes are doing great across the board. Every situation has excellent memes, but I want to focus on this one over here. This is the Natty Ice meme. Now we're just going to listen to the first line of this song because this is the actual meme of the whole song. You spilled beer on my shirt, now I'm addicted to the smell of Natty Ice. The whole meme with this is, is like, this is what my taste in music sounds like to all my friends. So to see this level of love and appreciation for emo and memery at the same time, I'm loving to see it. And on top of it, cringe is very healthy as well. Now I've been pretty critical to this TX2 guy over here, and this clip that he just posted isn't gonna help his case. Now you know the song Crawling by Linkin Park, Chester, some of the best vocals that ever existed in a rock and roll vocalist. Like Chester was one of the most gifted guys behind the microphone ever. And let's just see TX2 have his rendition over here. So <laughs> we can't do any we can't do any more than that. I'm sorry TX2 you might be a sweetheart and you hang out with people that I do consider to be sweethearts and I don't mean to come out here and be really mean about what you're doing and I'm glad that you're out here living your best life doing the thing that you love to do but goddamn everything that you touch TX2 is the cringiest thing ever. Emo kid covers Linkin Park. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's 28. I don't know about emo kid, bro. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and roast TX2. The worst crime that he ever did was just be a little bit cringe. There are definitely worse things. But let's talk about something a little bit better than that right now, and that's his friend Johnny Gilbert. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of having a conversation with Johnny Gilbert before. It's on the channel if you want to go check it out. But Johnny Gilbert, internet emo, is just on a creative roll right now. Songs like Zombie and Vampire. He's absolutely on fire with his third thirst traps as well, him and Jake making all the girlies weak in the knees, and the fact that emo is on fire right now is just helping the scene. We got the memes, we got the cringe, and we got the actual artistry all happening together, and it's a beautiful thing to see. And then you can't have a scene without shows, fests, and releases, okay? And this year has got them. Remember last year, Year of the Knife were involved in this tragic car accident that sent their singer Maddie to the hospital and it was touch and go for the longest time? 
Well, they're back and they're playing shows again, but this time they're called Damnation Domain, and Maddie's not the singer, she's the bass player, and what a triumphant return it is. This thing is warm in my heart like a big old bowl of French onion soup. And on top of all that, straight edge hardcore superstars have heart, have announced that they are going to be returning for a run of festival shows. This is crazy. This is one of the best bands to ever be a band. This is Have Heart. Are you kidding me? These fests are going to be so densely populated and so full of people going absolutely crazy. This is historic times. And talking about historic hardcore times, Dying Fetus played FYA earlier this year. So if that's not a sign of a healthy scene, I don't know what else is. You take a look up and down the tied down lineup, you're thinking, this is crazy. The new Friends Fest is absolutely stacked, which I might be going to, very excited about that. And not to mention all these other festivals that just keep getting announced. Outbreak, when we were young, it's just going to be non-stop. Sound and Fury is probably going to be off the charts as well. And then on top of all the shows and fests, so many great releases. It's looking so good for pop punk with releases from Alkaline Trio and Neck Deep. The emo, screamo, hardcore, pop punk, all of these subgenres are thriving on the underground right now. And there are more than a handful of bands doing creative, successful things in every single one of them. So we got some good drama. We got some good memes. We got some good cringe. We got some good stuff going down on the internet. We got good festivals. We got good releases. I would say that the state of the scene is extremely healthy right now. It's a good time to be a fan of this stuff and it's great to see a whole bunch of youths coming into the culture because it was just a bunch of 25 to 35 year old people dominating these spaces for the last like 15 years. Now it's good to see that people are here to pass the torch along to. Very exciting stuff. I've been Dan Frampton. That's been the state of the scene. Really appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, you might like this video here. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and see you later.